Welcome back to another Tech Tip Wednesday. Now, before I showed you guys how you can use Visual Studio Code to display dat files and do all kinds of other cool things, uh, but I did, not, I did not actually show you the setup, the steps you have to go through to configure your Visual Studio to make it uh, open dat files. So this is what we're going to do in this video. Let's jump over to my computer screen and I'll show you what you have to do with Visual Studio to make it display dat files. All right, now that we're at my computer, let's click on the extension section. All right, this is where you're going to be downloading different extensions from the marketplace and installing them. So right here, I have my extension Excel Viewer already installed. So all you're going to do is search for Excel Viewer, make sure it's this exact one. If there are other similar names, just make sure you get this one. And let's take a look at how it works out of the box. So I'm going to close this, close that. And what I'm going to do is take a CSV file, drag and drop it in. And what you'll see, this little icon showed up, it says open preview. And so if I click on it, it switches my Excel to a grid view, right? So here we have a raw uh, CSV file, and here we have sort of a preview. Now our goal is to do the same thing, but with that files, right? Because if we take a that file, well, it's, uh, just going to be displayed, right? Let's drag and drop one in. Why are we not working? Oh, let's uh, drag and drop one in. And we have a dat file, right? But we don't have that little button and it probably doesn't know the delimiters too. So we're going to go back to our extension, right click and say extension settings. And this is where we're going to do our step number one is change our delimiters. So we're going to take our a comma delimiter, which is this box, and we're going to paste that into the comma. So that's done. And then we're going to take our quote qualifier, text qualifier, quote character, and we're going to put it where the quote mark is. So we're going to paste that here. Uh, so once we close this, we still not getting this little icon, right? That's the problem. We need to turn on that notification so that the software knows to even try to display this file. All right, so let's close our extensions, close our that file, close everything. And now we're going to go to a special folder, which is going to be on your C drive. Uh, we have a folder in your users uh, folder, your name, dot visual studio code extensions, and then your extension name. And it's a little weird that Staves starts with Grape City, that's the company who made it. But once you find them, there is a file called package.json. So we are going to open that package.json and we are going to make a little modification here. So we're going to scroll down and in the list of extensions here, it says .csv. Um, I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, but this is the way I did it. So I just put comma and I put dot that, close the quote and closed and saved this file. So now this extension needs to reload, right? In order to uh, receive the new settings. So I'm going to close Visual Studio. I'm actually going to open it again. All right, and now I'm going to try to drag and drop a dat file in here. So I'm going to, oh, wait. Before I do, you see the message popped up. Extension has been modified on disk. Please reload this window. Perfect. This is the exact message we need. It means it identified there was a change to configuration. And now it reloaded. And so now we're going to drag and drop out that file. And now you see we have that little hourglass open preview, but for that file. And so now if I click on this, it will render my dat file in grid view. So now you no longer have to try to load this into Excel or some other viewers. Uh, some people load to concordance. You can load it right here, look at it, uh, perform your QC steps. You can scroll up and down, do all kinds of stuff. Now, I'll give you a quick warning. First, if you're going to be doing this to a large dat file, it may take a while to render. So when you click this button, it'll look like nothing is happening and everything just kind of hang in there and you were like, uh, what's going on? And you would expect your mouse cursor to change to like an hourglass or spinning wheel or something like that, but it's doing nothing. And then suddenly snap and it displays it to you like rendered. 
Uh, the second thing may happen is uh, Visual Studio tends to update all the time. There are always new updates, changes, as well as the extensions. So that setting we just did could get overwritten and you have to go back and edit that file again. Again, I don't know if there's a permanent solution for this. Uh, I'm still new to this. I'm still experimenting with this software, but this is what I've done so far. And if you have to change it back, edit that file, I, I, think, I think it's not a big deal. You know, it's better to do that than not to have this at all. So that's my Wednesday tip. Visual Studio Code displaying that files. Let me know if you like it, don't like it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Put your comments in the comment section below and I'll see you on another Wednesday Tech Tip.